Okay, so after we have um, smoothened out the edges here, alright, before we actually apply fillers, what we'll do is we need to wash the entire rims first, alright. Um, this is very dirty, as you can see. They are spider nests and uh, I don't think it's a nest. Yeah, it's a nest. Alright, all kind of things all over. Because I have not used these rims for more than a year actually. Uh, it was just left uh, uh, at the side of the house for this entire duration. That's why you see the paint is also quite bad and all. Alright. So, yep, yeah, let's give it a good wash first. Okay, so now that we have already cleaned the rims, um, it's time to actually apply the epoxy. So just make sure that this portion is dry. Alright, the place where you want to apply the epoxy, make sure it's absolutely dry, else your epoxy may not stick to it. And what I'll be using is this uh, 4 minute epoxy steel. Alright, so what we'll do is once we have applied, we'll be applying by finger sort of like scuffing it in then um, what we'll be doing is we'll wait for it to dry and then uh, we'll sand it down so that it matches the rest of the rims all right so on places like this it's gonna be a bit more difficult for me to um, scuff it properly because it was supposed to be a bit jutting out so i'm gonna leave these edges alone but i'm gonna make sure here looks nice all right so yeah let's get to it Alright, so this is after sending it smooth. Alright. Okay, so we have managed to send it all the way um, a bit down to the bare metal actually. Alright, a bit down to the bare metal, but it's okay. This is at the back. Alright, so the reason why this was sent was because, um, well, when they are balancing the wheels, the tapes are a bit too um, sticky. So yeah, now it's time to wa give this a last wash, then we'll prep it for painting, alright? By prepping, I mean just letting it dry.
Alright, there you have it guys. That's how I restored the 18 inch rims, um, the pretty scratch up rims that I have. Alright, so a brief history. So why was my 18 inch rims sitting around for more than a year? So uh, at one point of time, this car was actually um, used by my parents. Uh, I loaned it to them because they, did, they didn't have any car and uh, it was on the 18 inch at that point of time so majority of the scratches that you see on the rims are actually done by my parents uh, you know old folks they don't see road curbs all right so after a while it was changed to the 16 inch all right because 16 is less prone to road curbs uh, or curb scratches or curb whatever you call it all right so now that i'm using back the car i've changed it I've changed it back to the 18 inch after the 16 inch um, tires was actually worn and um, right so here it is it used to be gunmetal color but uh, since the paint fainted, uh, fainted, faded so it's now uh, metallic sewer all right so um, overall the DIY took me about a couple of hours um, can't really remember because it's been about two weeks since then I've been using this rim for about two weeks. So let's talk a bit about the spec of these uh, rims. Okay, so for the front, um, these are 18 inches, uh, 8.5J. And I think the offset is 30 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on the offset, I can't remember the offset. I only remember the uh, width of the rims. All right, and the tires that I'm using is actually uh, Achilles. Uh, actually, I think it's actually uh, ATR2 Sport. Yeah, actually, it's ATR2 Sport. The size is 225-40-R18. Uh, Alright, so with this size, I've been using this size since the previous time as well. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get stuck to the fender or anything, uh, provided that the car is in its original width. Oh, sorry, original height. And for the back, what we have here what we have here is the also an 18 inch same thing uh, but it's uh, 9.5 J all right and the tires same same model but it's a 23540 all right I did ask whether I can put in a 24540 but um, the shop didn't recommend it because there's a high chance that the tire will be rubbing against the the uh, bone at the back here the suspension bone at the back here all right so uh if i'm not mistaken this offset is 40 is uh, if, if you look at it it's actually jutting out a lot more all right so for this i actually had to roll the, i actually had to roll the fenders when i got this in stock previously and it was on 215 tires oh trust me don't do that don't 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 get a 9.5 uh uh, J rims and 215 tires it looks horrible absolutely horrible and yeah even with 215 I had to actually roll the fender so now I'm using 235 so rolling fender is definitely a must so even if I have three fat passengers three fat passengers at the back it, does, it doesn't rub against the fender anymore now all right of course I'm not on the original suspension I'm on adjustable so it's a bit harder as well all right so 
that's it for this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you dislike it you can always hit that and be sure to leave us a comment all right on how we can improve further all right and if you have not done so please hit the subscribe because every subscription counts thank you